guys and welcome to my youtube channel i hope the light is okay <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, I was supposed to do a whole wash day. Because that's what this channel is supposed to be about, right? Hair and stuff. But let's do the stuff more than the hair. I promise to upload a video every day. Every, not every day. <laughs> every week. I promise to upload a video every week. But I didn't do my wash day last week because... If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I walked a 25 kilometer. <laughs> I walked a 25 kilometer um, walk against GBV. It was a good walk, but I was so tired. I couldn't get around to it. So here I am. I present myself to you. I'm going to answer the questions that we put, that I asked everybody to answer. And I'll clean up. This is like first thing in the morning. I was late. So what I did was I came straight to my desk and started working. Benefits about being but about working from home during the pandemic that you can do this. So I'm gonna freshen up. Well I'm gonna first have my oats it's mixed with the herbal light multi-fiber. First eat breakfast and when I get a break, I'm going to bath and start answering your questions. I'm probably going to answer them during my lunch hour break. So this video will be up by the end of the day. So I'm literally shooting it today, editing and uploading. I hope you enjoy. Good morning, my faves. I posted a flyer on my Instagram. I posted it twice actually. I posted it the first time and no one responded. Okay, um, Carla, Ati, and I'll check, responded. Like I literally got three responses and I went back shamelessly and asked for more questions. So that's what this video is gonna be about. I said I was gonna answer these questions during a wash day, but as previously mentioned, I just, I just couldn't, I just couldn't wash my hair this week. I, me gilapile, me gilapile. It was ridiculous. I don't know why I did a 25 kilometer. I'm actually going through my in stories archives and looking for the questions. So I'll start with the questions from the first picture I posted, the first round where I asked for questions which was on the 17th of november thank you so much to my day ones <laughs> who responded the first time around it's pesci Kola, and ati thank you um pesci asked why did you decide to go natural oh yeah i'm not gonna be saying names why did <laughs> why did you decide to go natural I didn't decide to go natural. It was a matter of consequence. Oh, it's so hot. Let me open it. It was a matter of con consequence because <laughs> sun kissed. <laughs> because I had chopped my hair previously before. Let me adjust this. We can't be working with this. I had cut my hair previously before after growing it. I kind of have a cycle. Every three years, uh, every five years, I cut my hair. So when I got to that cycle, in 2017 i think or 2018 yeah also i just wanted to cut my hair a lot had happened in my life by to the end of 2017 start and yeah i cut my hair and then in the year that i was keeping my hair short i then moved to china and i braided my short short hair at the time and i was in a place where it wasn't that easy to get somebody to relax your hair, to 
do your hair in general and that's how i went natural i went natural because i was living in a foreign country and i was just like let me just grow it out like this and i'll see how it goes i will probably relax my hair at one point and cut it again after i reach my other five year cycle don't tell that though <laughs> why don't you start modeling girl me <laughs> i'm too short and <laughs> Do you think I could be a model? I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't think you call her. Um, I don't think I have it in me. Um, what's my favorite alcohol beverage? Sure, I don't. My favorite alcohol beverage of recent, I think, is wine. You know, wine is like a better box. <laughs> but in general, I think I think I like vodka. Yeah. I like vodka. Okay, let's go to the part where I actually got questions. Um, how do you make your Insta make Insta pics look so snatched? I don't know. <laughs> it all happens by accident. Hi kids, I, I don't know. This is yeah, this is a good friend of mine. Thank you, girl. Um, do we even have a topic? And no, I didn't listen to it everything you said in the earlier post there's no topic thanks for responding <laughs> there's no topic i want a topic uh, she responds and says about anything um my babe said how do you stay this beautiful all the time <laughs> um so do I need to comb my hair before the wash? No, I, I don't I don't think you need to comb your hair before the wash. I think you just kind of straighten it, you know, straighten like this. And if you're going to pre-poo, pre-poo, use a, pre I think African Pride has a pre-poo item. Or you can use oil, just go into your hair with oil and sit with the oil for like 10 to 15 minutes. I stay for like an hour and then you wash with your shampoo still kind of the trick i think with natural hair is to pull it out as don't do this you know you know that motion that they used to do this i don't know pull it out pull it up and pull it out so that you actually straighten it up because your hair just kind of does this you know so just when you pull it out like that you are you're straightening it out and then after you deep condition after you set with the deep conditioner for a while wet your hair again and section it and then start combing i only comb my hair when it's in a deep conditioner or when it's wet um share ways of non-stretching and styling like your afro is popping girl i should do a video about that right yeah but mostly i stretch my hair with twists and three three brand straights like c3 yeah like braids eh, with my hair i know i've seen um one of you guys actually i've seen one of my insta friends um do the the threading item i think my hair is too short to the, the to threading item i think maybe with time as it grows i'll do that but i'll do a get ready with me i'll do a get ready with me and in that video i'll show a stretching kind of technique thanks for suggesting that um how do you prep your hair for wash day i used to use rice water before every wash day um like if i know i'm washing the following day that previous night i will deep condition with rice spray my hair with rice water wear plastic on top and then sleep or i'll pre-poo with an oil but most of the time i don't prep my hair for wash day we just go straight in but apparently pre-pewing is very important um also what can you recommend Okodisa the edges because wow girl look at my edges i don't really have edges <laughs> but the little edges edges that i have i grew them back after i like like continuously putting on braids and stuff on your hair actually damages your hair that's what i've learned also being a natural when my hair is out and just like this 
and just out and not embrace it grows better it's happier so i would recommend ease off on the braiding if you've been braiding every month skip two months just let your hair breathe um wear a wig charity powerful do those um twists three strands mapondo those are things that will grow back your hair just don't do the hectic stuff on your hair and if you are relaxed um skip two months without relaxing relax on the third month those are things that grow back your hair because these styles of ours and also these buns if it's too tight it's pulling on your edges i just i don't currently <laughs> currently i'm using the pro girls um pack so they have an oil and oil mix any oil mix will do um a leave-in conditioner a fro girls leave-in conditioner and the fro girls cream normally i like trying out a set of products but my fave so far is the aunt jackie's again oil that i've used so far i've loved the most the cream i have loved the most is the afro botanics one um it's in a green item if i find a picture i'll post it if i don't i'll take it from my instagram yeah <laughs> and that's the best cream i've used so far followed by the one i'm using currently the afro, afro girls cream and then the last cream that i really really enjoyed was the nalotica cream it's also great it's in my yellow item my item but yeah, I'll leave the dis the description of these products in the in the description box and also the links to the different Instagram accounts that you can find more details about them, the specific vendors. But yeah, are you and then leave-in oil cream. I've talked about them all. Yeah, cool, cool. But don't be particular. I think I am not particular about brands yet because I really love products and I really love trying out products. But in each item, I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for light oils. I'm looking for shea butter in the cream. I am looking for um, shea butter also in the leave-in conditioner. I'm looking for something that says that it will soften and condition. Yeah, and doesn't have parabens, sulfates, any of the best. What should we expect from your YouTube channel? Girl, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from my YouTube channel. I just... I just wanted a space in the tube, you know? Just the way we opened Instagram accounts, the way we opened Facebook accounts. This is something that I wanted to do as well. And I don't know what to grow into. I'm... Whole, I, the idea was for, just, for it just to be about hair but um like i said in the first video it could grow into anything i want it to be presently we're, i'm not even doing my hair but we're here talking so it'll go either way right that's what life is all about hey yeah where do you get how <laughs> where did you get this on your forehead teen, teen, teen. i was a kid maybe standard two or three and i went with my friends and when my dad came, he honked the horn and I really didn't want to keep him because we had been having a whole argument about how I keep him waiting and so I tripped and fell and fell on a very sharp ended rock. I still remember that pain, but I think I was like seven years old. And yeah, and I remember being so angry at my dad because he didn't take me to the hospital. <laughs> he just decided to self medicate. He was just pressing on it and But don't I'm gonna go Yeah, but yeah, that's how I got this kind of my point. Ma over the rabbit saying, can now some of us we know everything? <laughs> Yo Oh Jamila says I love you. I love you too girl. I love you too. Like these are people that I believe will take up space. Uh, Majiko Bar, she knows everything. Um, that's where I got my previous um, DIY with the Better Night Clay idea. You could have given me ideas, girl. Waiting for you. 
Um, I admire your patience with your natural hair and the love you give it inspired. Oh, thank you. I I literally I described it as a labor of love just the other day with my friend. Like, I really love it. Like, it's my part time gig. It's, it's a labor of love, and I will not take away anything away from it. I think it's teaching me patience. Also, I have the time. Maybe, maybe talk about your career relationship with God and how do you know your husband was the one? Girl, I feel like this is an entire YouTube video, right? Right? Should I answer it here? I don't think I should answer it here. We're gonna make a YouTube video about one styles, two career relationship with God and how I knew my husband was the one. <laughs> it's gonna be lit. Next one, hearts. Somebody sent me hearts. Thank you. Um, while I be sad, <laughs> but means a compliment. Big ups on the channel. That's a big move. Thanks. I think it takes a lot of bravery to put your personality out on the internet. I guess, like, it's different here. I wonder how it will do in like the next two years. Thank you so much. Uh, Bestie says. What made you decide to start your initial hair journey? I think I talked about this hair. Well, I mentioned that I just moved to a place where hair products and just doing my hair wasn't as easily accessible. Um, Bestie continues to say, what do you do in your quiet time? I really want to say I read because like I have a whole mini library. <laughs> but in my quiet time, Hmm. In my quiet time, I want to say I I watch Netflix. I watch Netflix and show mix if I'm not involved in anything. But other than that, I am trying to meditate on the word of God, trying to remind myself of God's promises and love. Yeah. Because when I'm quiet, I think that's when I worry the most about my life and how it's going and whether it's going right or whether I'm doing the things I should do. So I try to divert my attention to just meditation around God's promises for my life. What's your, my best continues to say, what's your aspiration in life? My aspiration in life is, it's cliche. I want to say it's to be successful, but then I wonder what to, to be successful at what? So really my aspiration in life is to travel, to love, and to not be forgotten when I'm gone. So yeah, I think I build my 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 life, my life's experiences and the decisions of my life around those three three things. I want to love my family, love my friends. I want to make a mark. I don't want to be I want to be forgotten, you know. Um video already has style darling. Recopa Boss style my hair with me or get ready with me. Yes, girl. I feel like I should be noting these things. Who's writing this down? Three videos. Um, but this is basically the same as the other one. Hairstyle, um, hairstyles, uh, get ready with me. And a whole video about career relationship with God and how I knew my, my husband was the one. Would that qualify to be like a get to know me type? Maybe, hey? Yeah. But yeah two videos Nat says when can i get a makeup tutorial or at least drink singan hey friend when are you coming back to Botswana? are you in Botswana? whenever you're in Botswana, holla we'll do drinks makeup tutorial i think i should do a video where we're following a makeup tutorial from like misali or goose what y'all think please tell me in the description box i think that's a good idea though um I need to watch the first the video first. <laughs> we'll ask before the end of the night. She never asked, guys. She never asked. Tell me Todd. <laughs> do you ever struggle with dandruff? How do you deal with it? Yeah, I actually do struggle with dandruff. Um when my hair gets really really itchy and the it's not getting as, as clean as I think it is, the scalp. I 
wash it out with apple cider vinegar or that bentonite clay thing um you mix bentonite clay apple cider vinegar and honey and you let you scrub your scalp with it it really helps apple cider vinegar really helps with dandruff and then she says you're beautiful thank you boo. thank you thank you so much no question here just wanted to say you have such a warm energy we feel it and um and we feel it and congratulations thank you i feel like i should change my name to congratulations <laughs> life with mimki mimki um how do you ensure your burnout stays doesn't fall off at night go do they want to stay on the whole night are we it legit legit do they stay on mine don't I have moved from the bonnet life, from the tupi life. I sleep on silk pillowcases, silk satin, that smooth yana fabric. Because sometimes you just want to go to sleep as a black child. As a black child, you just want to sleep. I don't even want to wash my face sometimes, but my face stays giving me problems. But yeah, sometimes I've given up on the bonnet life. They don't stay on. They have moods. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. All right, guys, that brings me to the end of my questions. Thank you to everybody who responded. I know I could have easily just gone on the internet and found a bunch of questions, but this feels like I'm interacting with my audience. This gives me the feeling that I'm interacting with my audience, and I think that's a big part of YouTube. I think YouTube is my only account where I'm, I don't have firewalls up. I'm, I'm just going to come in here and be me, and... Sometimes be serious, sometimes not. I I can decide, you know? Yeah.